your boy Amic and Cheese, and today we have our second Tileborn video. We have patch notes, bouncing and bug fixing for the access. So, uh, if y'all know, Tileborn is a really cool, fast paced, action packed, side scrolling 2D, 3D, side scroller beat em up game. Early access came out, I think, came out like last week or something like that. And it's a really fun game. I have a whole video on it on the channel's gameplay and some thoughts. My uh, this much my thoughts in the game is a gameplay, it's a really fun game. Give it a chance. I have a link down below for the thing in the uh description for the uh for the Steam page. So let us get into the patch notes. And then after the video, I want to talk a little bit about the game, or at least have a little bit about the tower streams that they do have or are you having a lot more lately? So <clears throat> Early access patch to bouncing and bug fixing. Talk about early access patch to. Oh, I've said all this already. So, for our greetings, aces. We're just one week from, out from how to say that from uh top of early access release, and we were already fixed troves of high quality feedback from all you founders out there. Keep it coming. From bug fixes to game balance tweaks to quality of life improvements. Here's what's new. I like this. Transparency is big these days, and it. I mean, it should have been. Like it should always be a thing, but I like a lot of like gaming, like especially small games, are like that is the key to success is to just be transparent. Well, it doesn't always work, of course, because you know it's more than that. But they keep your game healthy and alive. Transparency is key. So, gameplay, Ritz chest fix. He fixed a bug that was awarding Ritz from Shang share at Danger Level One. As Pedro was never meant to get Ritz and carriers that early, this should not impact your total Ritz inflow. I think I've seen that actually. I was wondering. It's too early. Curios tab fix. Result an issue where players with lost number connection will no longer see the Curios tab. Bald Ace Fix. Your Ace will no longer be a pure bald after fearing a helmet cosmetic store or kill tab with no helmets equipped. I have that. Mission soft flat fishing issue where some players were getting stuck with destroying a monster spawner when a counter is not properly activated. Dialogue fix correct the conversation tile that referenced the wrong NPC. Quest adjustments return to form quest text has been rephrased for clarity. A class of all the rest has been updated to give you credit for playing with the Sentinel class. I was I was hoping they said they would do that because like you start with that class and you play that class for like a couple missions. So I'm like I already played Sentinel. <laughs> Why am I having to play it again if I do the class I think I started with in the first place? So combat. I have a couple things to say about combat, but we'll see here. Uh hit impacts. There's an issue where impacts were not displaying correctly when attacking when enemies are correctly when enemies were blocking this is fixed. Sound effects, so you fix an issue where players affected effects last double or triple their intended durations. One thing in a scenario where the AS foot could be stunned or present for a long time, this also caused the effects to exceed devs expectations. Wow, that's a good fix right there. Um and that's hilarious. Um for combat. I just want to say something, that's probably what it was. I will come back to it. Classes. We've been watching how everyone is playing their respective classes, and we still have more to say about that later. Right now, we're just focused on, on fixing an obviously broken issue. Please continue to give us feedback. We've been reading it all. I could really suppose I might make a video like going over when well, I'm not so busy. I'm, I want to make a video like I do a Wayfinder is we look at a bunch of questions, we'll like we'll answer them and we'll talk about them, and then I'll post my own on top of that. This would be, I love doing it, it's really fun. So, Send off. Fix an issue where some attacks weren't contributing to the valid meter. That was my issue with that one set. That's nice to have. Rock breaker. Reduce break bar damage from the elbow drop. Jump heavy attack. Reduce break bar damage. I thought the best attack though. So in the funnest one too, you do an allergy. It's just like, yeah, it's, it's really great. Shadow Strike. A fish use that calls the class to instantly build three bars by performing the focus ability. Death rattle. You can get a lot of bar really fast. Um, I didn't remember what I wanted to say about the classes or the combat section. I'm really hoping they improve the flow because like you do like launchers into like do a jumbo combo you have to really hit you have to hit jump a lot like instead of just like having a nice gradual just flow into a jump not automatically of course because that'd be like that'd just really be annoying but like if i launch me into the air i should be able to tap a like immediately should be able to follow up with that and not have a, like a delay on that so especially if i'm gonna get hit on top of that that'd be really helpful to have or at least maybe some iframes we can jump to umbra at the ones players play our players for the past week it has become apparent that we need to make some adjustments to umbra 
when we look at the total damage output break bar damage system in use it becomes very clear that several of them are simply outperforming our intentions our design intent for umbra is that there should be never be a global always use umbra nor should an umbral ability be outperforming the aces folks abilities as such we have reduced damage of several umbra to be more in line with the expectation of the aces total kit stand the sensibility of the prime and intended to provide us a car control with a moderate damage the damage exceeding this and we have reduced it in up by 30 percent morbury morbury rates of damage combined with a total done turn done turn damage done all damage done turned out to be quite excessive and so we have reduced radius damage by 20 percent direct hits will still deal significant damage papyrus we went back and forth on papyrus we could have increased the school not kept the damage output however we're pretty big fans of being able to extend combos using umbra and adopt to lower damage output instead or preventing cool moments <laughs> instead of overall reduce the break damage by 20 percent i like that i love combos over damage every day so unless it's like a boss can we have a boss but Ah, so simply was dealing a lot of damage on this hit in addition to dealing poison. Let's be real, it was pretty powerful. I mean, it has multiple charges, thus reduced initial explosion by 50% in order to bring Pox in line with all the Umbra. See, when nerfs are like this, it makes a lot more sense when you bring them in line with everything else instead of like, you know, buffing this. Oh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna buff this. We just have to like nerf them, they're gonna buff something else. You're like bring everything into line. So now everything is at the same point. Hopefully they're still useful. As I'm sure they are, and then they listen to the feedback on top of that, which is really nice. But you know, like hell divers that I just I just nerf things and then buff other things. If you put everything, if you buff everything or never take everything to the same level, as long as it's not like awful to use, this is a pretty good approach. At least I think so. I'm on even gaming. Enemy section. General enemies, all danger levels, reduce damage boost from range. That's good. From 1.5 to 1.1. What ranged <laughs> mushroom all their levels poison duration cut in half amazing fix an issue preventing the dig attack from being used at danger level four fix an issue preventing the dig attack Did we level four? Huh? that bad that good look at tail i mean less attacks is better but like i'm straight i don't know Flicker tail danger level two increase cooldown on char attack spread shot and turn the attacks by two or three seconds this is a change in deal in level plus three I think I do like is is actually like it feels this I'm sort of getting from this that when you increase change level things actually change you know instead of just being oh we just have more health and more damage their tactics actually change what I'm seeing and I love that because a lot of games these days little tangent is when you increase difficulty you just say oh we're just gonna do more damage and more the, the enemies using more damage and more health that's all they get nothing gets changed nothing is different it's gets really kind of stale but when you add new things with difficulty like changes how things are in a dynamic it is pretty nice to have i appreciate the changes hopefully uh they keep doing in the future uh, all danger levels uh you know you say with tech damage by 15 percent and levels slightly increase break health bar our break bar health let's put the tail a uh, man pull bouncer trouncer all danger levels health and break bar values adjusted to match each other rat slasher blood letter all day levels health and break values adjusted to line of the tenants attack damage is reduced by 15 percent fix an issue where the enemy will enter a stun state while enraged hmm. gobble gobo gobble imp and impale tail you know this is the health and break values of consistency wireless stouts one on the health and break values sweet to match other tenants so since this is like a nerf to everybody's damage around the board this attack damage by 20 percent makes this you call them all for burn stacks with a ring of fire attack ring of fire attack only hit once with a blowout reaction in corners what reaction what that means global terminal then level reduce damage up from total buff by 25 percent we now take about purchase by 20 percent that's what i'm 20. on seamstress we have made adjustment with the seamstress so that she's a more familiar opponent and result is no longer possible to juggle its enemy after playing their break bar see that's a weird thing because like i think you should be able to juggle enemies like in like Dove May Cry. Like, some enemies or some bosses can be juggled when you get them into that state. You know, you get them into a stun state, but then have them snap back and, you know, like fall out of the combos or recover or something like that. Like, um, I think of a game, I don't know if I've got an example on hand. Um, but usually when you're fighting, 
at some point if you if you like you break their bar they'll step out of it and start attacking you again or they'll have like the reset animation or they'll pick themselves back up so i think they should do something like that so we can still do combos on bosses and stuff like that and then you know it's, it's, it'd be a lot more fun that way i think this is the game that does something like that where it's just like break out with a combo they're like a i won't say god of war god of war does that god of war ragnarok or 2018 has like a mechanic like that where you break them you fight them you juggle them you beat them up but then out of nowhere they can snap out of it and then go back up to what they're doing obviously don't do it like that because sometimes it'll straight bullshit but i think it's a system worth looking into so art last section of art and ui ux fix fears issues with capes and cloth generating with the character's face our face certain directions correct the texture issues with a long shift firing's pack cape and glider sense chest piece Fix clipping and distortion issues with several gear items, including the Steam stock gear set and the vintage flaws waste gear. I know. I do like any face clip. There's the clipping issue with the bridge and the ruins, biome and background issues in the Fungi Forest. Fix soft block issues approve the feel of the crawling list and interactions in the mark mode. Address inventory count miscalculation and improve hot prompts for lower resolution screens. Rage proven so part of displays, credits, and bug callouts. Part of display. Okay to play them at it yet but uh these are the patch notes for patch notes two um i didn't really go over uh connections for the first one there's not a lot in here so i uh, will keep y'all posted about these and do more stuff over time because i think what a channel wants to be is i want to look at games that are developing and kind of talk about them play them you know present them to y'all let y'all let y'all see you kind of get the word out there you know kind of thing not all early access games are like something like that but just think that interests me personally and i kind of find that's a really cool idea it's along with the usual playthroughs and i never get back to doing that so um i also want to show y'all something over here on the stream when they were streaming yesterday so i don't know if you noticed but uh top board has been streaming on twitch usually every other day or something like that when they get a chance to um they've been having technical issues to say the least uh a lot of them don't know how to stream and it's kind of like it's, it's cute you know like they're trying to get the word out there and trying to stream and show them the game all stuff like that but they do not know how to set up a stream they didn't read chat all they kind of did was just talk about they, they talked about the game it was fine they're having a lot of fun and it's not like oh they're, they're busy playing a game to talk no the play that talk to the chat I'm like no uh they never like once respond to the chat i don't know if another stream that they did but in this one i was particularly tuned into oh they didn't so if y'all could do me a favor and just spread the word and just you know try and i don't know if they need to hire somebody to set the stream up for them i could do that i could be on, put, put me on a top board team i would love to be like the community manager or something like that and just read questions and you know give people's feedback stuff like that i'd be awesome i would love to do something like that application I put my application that's like my my verbal application for this <clears throat> so i uh, just let them know you know to start reading questions you know fix their resolution it's only stuck in 2050p you know have like names on their things so i know i don't know i don't know because they said somebody here was steins but there's four people here i don't know who i know it's saints i don't know who saints is i know this is uh uh her name was but yeah just let you know, get the word out there hopefully this is video themselves or somebody sees this video because i want to support them on a talk and chat i want to be everybody in the community i just want to have like a nice good time like my example is like for warframe warframe does a dev stream so the dev streams are set up you know we're going to be doing it for a long while like a good however many years it's been and they have like the old they have the own little crew now for it too on top of that so i'm hoping over time it does get better and i'll see it will but you know just let them know because you have a lot cute i love this they're like little um hud design they have for the thing little creatures and little names that the thing glows up to while they're like talking and stuff like that and i think it's gonna be really cool and there was a little piece in here i don't know who was saying i think it was him the top guy we were talking about how they're going to add a combo counter as well, which is really cool. And like some better UI stuff too, which is like a little hint, a little sneak peek later. They didn't show it off because they obviously just talk about it in concept, but that's what they want to do in the future. So, um, yeah, you know, 
go to the discord post feedback i don't know if they're active, active on reddit or anything like that but just let everything be known i want this game to force on to be really cool because this is like a really fun game to play with your friends and it's just nostalgic the artwork is beautiful the story is kind of cool you know i ain't put too much time into it yet but uh i am going to be so i think that's gonna be it for this video um yeah take it easy